showdown in parliament comes after times now got you a massive expose three big pieces of evidence in fact three separate emails that showed how there were organizations within india who were working on the instructions of china let's take you through each one of these emails what they say and what they mean one by one the first email that in fact has created a massive flutter and let's show you what that email is it's one that was sent by the head of the cpm the indian communist party and that email exchange is between prakash karat and neville roy singham for those who are uninitiated and who did missed the massive uh, uh, expose that we did yesterday Neville Roy Singham essentially is an American businessman. He is based out of Shanghai and he was first red flagged by the Enforcement Directorate in 2021. Subsequently, he has featured in an investigation done by the New York Times on the 5th of August. Now, Neville Roy Singham, and remember this very specifically, Neville Roy Singham has been outed as a man who pretty much is a front for chinese propaganda he is carrying out what is known as smokeless war basically taking money from the ccpa the communist party of china and pumping it into various organizations spread across the world to further chinese interest to further chinese propaganda now bearing that in mind see the email exchange that happened between prakash karat and neville roy singham here prakash karat writes to mr singham on the 1st of january 2021 this is soon after the galwan skirmish has already happened india has lost 20 of its soldiers killed in action and has cracked down on chinese businesses in india subsequently mr karat writes he says it's so good to get a perspective from you Uh, from someone like you who is living in china the guancha piece on the cpim was pretty detailed let me give you a little perspective on what the guancha piece is guancha basically is a publication by the communist party of china and they had featured the indian communist party the cpim and written about them in glowing words so that is what neville roy singham had shared with mr karat Mr Karat writes back saying Guancha piece on CPIM was pretty detailed it's good to see this type of coverage there at a time when anti china feelings are being whipped up in the media here since the border problem now what is this anti china feeling it is the entire reportage that was being done here in india and rightly so about how china was actually trying to lay claim to indian territory how china was engaging in one sided aggression and was being pushed back so mr karat talks about how anti china feelings are being whipped up in the media here since the border problem what is the border problem it is the galwan skirmish where india pushed the chinese back and 20 of ours were killed in action he calls it the border problem unfortunately it had a big impact the indian government is restricting investments and imports from china which is going to harm our country more take a look at the tenor of this entire email it seems the sympathies the concern is more about Chinese business interests in India being hurt rather than the Indian soldiers who are killed in action during the border problem and the anti China sentiment that according to him is being whipped up here in India here you see the the you know the the concern for chinese interests the other big expose we got you how there was an attempt to whitewash China's role in the entire covid outbreak trying to give them a clean shit of sorts trying to talk them up and then of course also trying to barter away indian interests when it comes to the entire depiction of the india china border at arunachal three key emails three very damning revelations about publications like news click here in india about mainstream political leaders like those of the cpm all of them corresponding with neville roy singham and the reason why the congress is also being dragged in is because they were some of their members were among those who had defended the likes of news click who you can see here corresponding with neville roy singham they 
when uh, uh, News Click was raided in 2021, they were extremely sympathetic. They called it an attack on free speech.